Hello everyone, Husky Ninja here, and it is quite on um, quite a few people like my new Luca ear covers that I made myself, and so I figured that I'd basically do a little like vlog type tutorial on how I made them. And I will put pictures in this video as well. A step by step guide sort of thing of how I did some of it. But you're going to need cardboard from either a thin ish cereal box or sweet box. And you want to try and make sure it's like 2.5 centimeters or 2 centimeters wide on the spine of the box. So basically, either this size in or that one. As that's going to be the back part of the ear cover. As well as cardboard, you're going to need thin foam for your surround parts and also to go on the top so that your detailing is like 3D'd. And you're going to need quite a lot of paint if you're doing it the way I did it, which you have no glue but that's if you have no glue but if you do have glue it's best to use glue now when you actually do the ear cover you want it to be like that sort of shape because that's going to be like a spine of your box cardboard box of your sweet tin or cereal box is going to be and then you're gonna want to do like your vocaloid ear cover there and the same on that side have them on the same size I just did this quickly so you guys can see the shape I used but also it's good if you have like a little stump part here and I'll show you on my Vocalite ear covers, what I mean by that. And it is basically that little bar bit there, which you can see more clearly here. That bit, even though it's going to be on show, it's really vital you have that bit for strengthening it. And you're also going to need scissors and paper and paintbrushes and depending which book card you're doing it for because this will work for Luca, Rin, Len and Miku due to their ear covers being the same size but just with like detail and added for Rin and Len and on the bottom for Miku you got like two extra little bars up there for Luca, she doesn't. Hers is just like basic, but still really pretty. You're also gonna probably want to have some paper or well, extra paper to trace around your ear so you have the shape of your ear so that when you have like temporarily like constructed it. You can make your ear hole, well, a hole for your ear, and the reason for that is because they're chunky. They will just like if you don't. I'll use my right ear cover here. It'll just stick up like that. And if you're wearing them at like outdoors, and it's like a really strong gust of wind. You don't want it to like fold upwards, which is one of the reasons I make chunky ones. For when I'm outdoors, 
and you're going to have to be really patient because these take quite a while to make. You can't make these in just like a day with the way I did them. But if you trace like a little bit extra around your ear just to take account of movability because I have it so I can slide them on and off the headband I wear when I'm in my Luca cosplay so that I can just like have a headband alone or with ear covers and it well it first I started them like a month ago where they were like the same shade of yellow as my first Oakley ear covers. They were quite thin as they were just made of foam and nothing else. And they kept moving about so I thought I'll make myself some chunky ones. I didn't follow any tutorials at all. But you're also going to need thin card as well. And you're going to have to make like two or four little extra band parts which go inside there. You put one and then you put another one for extra strength and durability. Because you want to cut a hole for a headband to slide in and out. And it helps keep them secure. But you also want foam, a different shape of foam, enough to do two of the grid or the cover parts on the very top there and also on here. And I finished them this month after going back over them with more paint. And I decided to go for how Luca's headband, well, the ear covers of her headband were when she was first with, announced, where they were a bit more golden than the yellow on her headband part. Now I used two different sweet, empty sweet boxes. I used like a 2D, 3D type thing. As you can see by like image and still in there. And also a sweet tarts box as well. But there's only enough space to, to the size of the boxes to do one per box. Now you may want to also keep in mind your fingers are gonna get covered in paint or glue unless you're making these both <laughs> as you're gonna have to also put your hand inside where you have your ear hole made to help hold the foam in place because I stuck them in that way once that end was secure I then wrapped it round and then between the edging of the foam and the card. I put lots of paint but because you glue you want to hold it in place with one finger inside and your thumb on the foam and another finger on the top slightly on the edging like that to help hold it in place because you don't want to like be like ballooned out. You can't put any towel type things on your foam. But then it's like once you've done just like the basic shape part of it, you're going to want to get another bit of foam and do like oh, your D shape and then the rectangles on a separate bit of foam. Then once you cut the shapes out you then want to lay it over the top of the ear cover 
so you can like have the rough shape guideline for the detailing and when you paint it you want to actually go a bit extra than the foam will go but you have to paint the foam first because there it's just like a big rectangle brown there's like messy D shape and then I've got extra gold dish yellow paint underneath and let it dry flat so it wouldn't move and then once it was all dry I basically put them on and I put on my headband and marked lightly with a pencil where the edge of the headband was so that I could then carefully from the ear hole cut out a section and this is cut out a section at the top part so that the headband can slide in and out for easeability and they're actually really secure really comfortable to wear but you do get a slight echoing but after you cut out the, your spacing for your headband to go you have to stick your two strips of folded up card that you had you glued together so they don't like unfold so it's kind of like a seatbelt in a way for your headband but if you don't want to have them on a headband and you want to put an old set of headphones in them you put your headphones part that goes over your ear inside first so basically that part of your headband you'd pop inside there first and then have that be like held upright by some things and then you carefully glue the straps in but you want to make sure they go under the card so that they don't get caught and so your face doesn't get scratched and also for if you're in wigs, they don't get tangled on your wig hair. Then once that's all done and they're fully dry and everything, they work really well. And I've been testing with like a hair dryer and full blast blown against them and they were very little. They, like, up close, people will realize they made a card, but they work really well. Especially for if you're cosplaying on a budget, which I tend to do quite a lot. Because, in my opinion, you don't need to spend a lot to do cosplay. If there's a way you can make it yourself on a super low budget, then that's the best way to go. Even if you can't do it like as good, well, as high quality, like manufacturer quality, as like pre order cosplay accessories, but if you can make your own cosplay accessories, you'll save a fortune. And acrylic paint, if you put on several coats on your homemade cosplay accessories that you're painting, it lasts really well, even in the rain. So yeah, I will include photos on the end of the pro some of the progress photos from when I made them. So you can get a better look at them as well as a couple of photos of me wearing them both not with my Luca wig on and also with my Luca wig on as it gives you a better exam idea of like what they're like on your head because with the wig on it hides some of the 
bulk of them. So, yeah, and if you want me to do like a like vlog type video again like this on how I did my Luca headband, please leave a comment down below and I'll do a vlog type construction video thing on how I made my Luca headband which quite a few of my friends thought I bought it like that but they were surprised when I told them I didn't buy it the way it is and also if you also want me to do a video on how I did let's grab it over here if you want me to do a vlog video on how I made my Keaton Fox ears that you can also use for Pikachu that I wore at Northampton Comic Con last year also let me know down below in the comments as it'll really give me ideas of what you guys would like me to do next that's cosplay related on my channel and also if you want me to do like a video on how I oh how I did my Tsunade top. Let me know as well down below in the comments, and I'll do a vlog video of how I about how it used to be and how it is now. <laughs> well, basically, how it became my Tsunade cosplay top. Yeah, and. I'm thinking about doing this as a new series here on my channel as quite a lot of my friends and even some of my Dunar followers have asked me how did I make certain things in my cosplay stuff so I feel like doing a video series about it will help you guys out if you're new to cosplaying and stuff or if you want to save money and you're just, well if you already do cosplay but you want to start like doing it on a tighter budget and stuff but I can only stick to like stuff I've done if that makes sense and yeah this is Husky Ninja signing off